is where we would actually load up the program. And I've been playing with this box. I just wanted to mention it. I think it'd be really cool if there was an open source version. Uh, if I had time, I would start working on this because this is really interesting. Uh, but this box actually is fairly well built. Um, I think this is the Osus box. It's a Titan. I mentioned in the other video, but I've had a little bit of time to play with it in both directions. Drip feeding, uh, sending programs to the local memory on the Fanuc controller, and also backing up all of my data. And I, I'm not sure that's going to be come into the camera, but we'll try. Um, so basically in the memory setting, I've got um, all my parameters saved that are on the machine. Some important to do, I've got several files. And then basically has all the uh, perimeters. So if I ever need to upload those back in the machine, uh, it won't be an issue. Um, and this is just basically a standard uh, directory. And also you can plug in the USB key, uh, which is what I've been playing with. Is basically taking something out of uh, uh, Fusion 360 or what have you, putting it on a USB key, and hitting go. This thing's really uh, well coded as far as you know USB key in and out. It, you know you really don't have to unmount or do anything. It may not be good on it, but it seems to work just fine. Um, and uh, the really cool thing I like that I mentioned in the other video is the. Uh, this machine has a 100 volt out on its receptacle, and this, this works just fine with 100 volt. The rating for the uh, power adapter that came with it is 100 uh, to 120 volt. And it's got a nice magnet here. Um, so that's got to pop it on the side, and it's on my controller, and everything swings out all together. The cable actually goes in right here, and the electrical uh, connection's also right here on this swing out panel. So it all stays together.